Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to Sunday Night Stamping with me. I am so happy to be here. I'm glad that I got back from Northern Wisconsin and time to do that. Yeah, so I've just been spending probably the last hour getting all my eggs in a row so I could be here with you tonight. Hang on, something's popping up on my screen. I see Jackie and Kathy and Deb and Karen. Welcome, you guys. Did everybody have a good weekend? We had an absolute blast. What'd you guys do? We were up north, northern Wisconsin, where the fall colors... Hi, Janet! Janet was in northern Wisconsin, too. She just set, um, put a message on one of my pictures saying, we kind of were looking for you guys. I'm like, oh, I wish you would have texted me, Janet. That would have been so fun. But yeah, we had a wonderful time. The colors were in all of their glory. Like the fall colors on the trees up there are just incredible. And um, Haley and Jared went driving around and took a whole bunch of really beautiful pictures. I napped. <laughs> Don't worry, I've been getting lots of sleep, I have to tell you. And I am not one to get up early in the morning, but I will get up early for hunting and for flying someplace. That's it for me. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> so up at 5 a.m. every morning, um, and it was great. We had a great time. Just about to get in the pool, Melanie says. Oh, Melanie, I'm so jealous. We do, um, our pool is closed now, but uh, my husband and my stepdaughter Stephanie's um, boyfriend spent the entire day on Saturday working on our pavilion tiki bar thing so um we got walls on two sides of it which is great and then you know steve's gonna do the finish work we're gonna kind of put a bar in there and maybe like he said a countertop on one wall with some cupboards above for storing stuff i think it's just gonna be really cool i see my cousin nikki just popped in too hi nikki and happy belated birthday i said happy birthday on your birthday but i see you're here again yeah, so lots of fun this weekend. Um, it was funny, too, because Jared drove home, and um, I went to sleep shortly after we got to Manaqua, and it's about a three-and-a-half-hour drive. And I woke up in the back of the truck. It was me and a big diaper bag and a couple pillows and then Val in her car seat. So I was like this laying on the... <laughs> laying on the pillows and the diaper bag and um I woke up and I'm feeling us turning and I'm like that doesn't feel right I was thought we were at Stevens Point for those of you who are in Wisconsin you know what I'm talking about we have to get off at Stevens Point and come east and um I got, I sat up and I'm in my driveway I'm like oh my gosh this was awesome I slept like all the way home like probably three hours so I'm feeling very refreshed and perky and ready to stamp with you guys um, and I've gotten some wonderful mail. I'm going to share that with you when we're done stamping tonight. I'm going to try to get through all of it. I'm looking down at it right now. It's like, don't let me forget the mail because I've got some beautiful cards, not a whole bunch. I shouldn't say some, a whole bunch of beautiful cards that were shared with me. And I see Kathy is saying, I'm so sorry for your loss, Tisha. I missed your comment. And I am also sorry. I usually go back through and look at comments to see if I've missed anything, you guys. So I'm not sure what's going on, but heartfelt sympathy to you. I see Debbie's here and Andy's here from Washington. Welcome. I'm going to get you loaded up on my screen right now and make sure that I can see your comments when I turn my phone around. What else happened? Um... I've got some funny little stories to tell you, and I think we'll do that once we get rolling here. I wanted to give you guys a John update because there has been some activity. <laughs> so, <laughs> John has a wooden window in the back of his work van. And I asked Steve, what happened to John's work van? Because I'm not really close enough to John to ask him. But, um... Steve said, yeah, he said he backed into a branch. He's done that a couple times. So we've got a little more information about John. He's probably not a really great driver. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but there you go. There's my John update. Holy cow. Um, 
What else? Oh, if you watched one of my videos this week, I had a lot of posting going on this week. Oh, first of all, let me tell you guys that as of Wednesday night, remember when I got sick with the COVID, I told you that it was like somebody flipped a switch and I was just, boom, very sick. Well, as of this last Wednesday night, I was sitting in here, I was making some cards, I had a blog um, hop that I was in, I was getting ready for everything, and it all of a sudden dawned on me, hey, I do not have a headache. My eyes don't feel like they're bugging out. My throat is not sore. Ooh, I got to plug in. Hang on. Forgot to do that. My phone's low. And let me make sure everything is going here. Hang on just a second. Yep, I'm all plugged in. We don't want any problems tonight, right? So anyways, I realized that I felt good. Like everything was gone. That crazy migraine headache that kept messing up my vision. And I did notice yesterday my vision's still a little goofy. But um, as of Wednesday night, I am back. And of course, I hit her 100 miles an hour, just like I always do, right? That's <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it just dawned on me like, oh my gosh, I feel good. My head doesn't hurt. I don't feel like I'm sick anymore. It was a long haul. So anybody out there with the COVID, I'm sorry. I hope it's very light for you. A lot of people that I've talked to that have had it, um, they just don't feel good for a couple days. Not too bad. So hoping that if you get it, that's all you get because that would have been great. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, you guys watching my blog posts, uh, my blog videos. I think I, um, oh yeah, it was my paper pumpkin blog hop on Thursday. So let me show you those cards. I'm going to mirror my screen here so that things aren't backwards. And there we go. Um, super, super cute kit this month. Oh my gosh. The, the, all the little elements in it were just amazing. And I made this little chopstick holder out of one of the little cracker boxes. And it just holds a regular size chapstick, pops right in there. But as I was making the video, I said that Steve was at the grocery store. And I am connected to his Alexa. And we have a shopping list or grocery list. I can never get it. There's two lists and I always screw it up. But I think it's the grocery list. And so while I was on my video, I told Alexa to add Halloween chapstick to the grocery list because I don't have any. Like, this is my chapstick. I'm not going to give that to maybe Molly for Halloween because that would be gross, right? So I said, I said, Alexa, add Halloween chapstick to the grocery list. And then I thought, oh, am I going to get a phone call saying, what the heck is Halloween chapstick? Because Steve was going to the grocery store. But I can report to you exactly what happened, which was nothing, because a lot of times he ignores the things I tell him to get at the grocery store. So he did it again. Yeah, so it was pretty funny, but um, maybe he maybe he missed it. I don't know. Oh, and then I wanted to tell you guys some funny stories about that. The girls were here, Steph and Anna Haley. I don't remember if Haley was exactly here when this happened, but um, they started talking about Alexa, and I said, well, your dad uses it for the grocery list. And they started telling Alexa to add things to the grocery list. And are, are you guys ready for this? They wanted, they added, had Alexa add extra large tampons, <laughs> extra strength preparation H in a super large bottle. <laughs> oh my Lord. And there were other things that were added that, you know, I can't really talk about. This is a family program, but these girls are so hysterical. So when he got to the grocery store, he's looking at the grocery store list. It says all this crazy stuff on it. I think he got a good chuckle out of it, but he acted like he was annoyed by the whole thing. And it's like, oh, lighten up. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cindy's Alexa is adding Halloween chapstick to the grocery list. <laughs> Everybody's saying that. My Alexa is not responding to me because I keep saying it like a whisper. We have a friend who does that. When they when they say naughty words, they whisper. They'll be like talking along and then they'll whisper when they say the naughty words. It's kind of funny. Anyways, um, so I thought I'd share that with you guys because it was super fun. I uh, wanted to tell you a little bit about my online class. 
says, let me see, where's my stuff here? Here it is. I just released a brand new online class. Hang on, I've got some guys here. Am I even in the screen? I don't know, I'm like over here. Um, online class using the Arrange a Wreath bundle. And can I just say, this bundle was so much fun. It was just so much fun. Yeah, Patty says she loves that list. Yeah, if you have a list that your somebody else takes care of, try just adding some really crazy things to it because it'll really give somebody a chuckle, right? And we're all about laughing here. Like, there's nothing better than laughing. And I think that's why <laughs> Rose says, Steve, annoyed, never. <laughs> that's why um, this last weekend that we went up bear hunting in northern Wisconsin is just so good for our soul because these people that we hunt with are hysterical. They are so much fun. They are good people. They would give you the shirt off their back and they are all very, very funny. Um, yeah, like when, oh, did I tell you this story already? I can't even remember. So I did get a bear and, um, when, like, I don't do the cleaning of things, okay? Like, I draw a line there. My daughter, Haley, will do it, but I will not do it. <laughs> and um, so when he got ready to clean my bear, we're out in the woods, and he was kneeled over my bear, and he turned around and he goes, did you want to do this? And I go, no, but thanks for asking. <laughs> Just like that, and he, we laughed and laughed. So I just, I love these people and I love laughing and I think it's just really good for the soul. And those are the people that I tend to surround myself with are funny people. Oh, and Marcia says, I have to show you guys my floor. I do. I want to show you the room when the barn door is done because I have a sliding barn door coming for the closet. And my guy just call, um, texted me while I was up north saying that the hardware is in and I said, he said, when can I come this week? I said, come Monday and put it in. So hopefully I'll have some pictures for you guys. But yeah, it's really cool. My windows are still not in. And that's another story. But we'll deal with that later. Anyways, Squirrel, back to Arrange a Wreath. Super fun online class. Now, with this online class, you can get the whole class and a pre-cut cardstock pack up until I run out of them. Um, if you order the entire bundle from me, and I'm looking at my notes up here. It is $123. You get the stamp set, the dies. You also get the In Good Taste uh, Designer Series Paper. This is a huge pack of paper, you guys. The In Good Taste Designer Series Paper. You get the Gingham Ribbon. Let me grab this. The Gingham Ribbon. Oops, this is the red braided trim that you get. Gingham Ribbon, Gingham Ribbon, the Wonderful Gems, what else, I'm looking, and then you get all the um, card stock layers to make six cards plus a really cool box and four cards for the box, so that's ten cards plus a box, it's a really good deal. Now, if you already have the Arrangery, that's okay, you can still get the online class. The class is $40, and that includes the pre-cut cardstock pack for 10 cards and the box. Those each have a video that show you how to make them. And if you are not in the United States, you can get the PDF only of the online class with all the videos, the instructions, the photos, the dimensions to make all of this stuff for $25. So completely up to you. But um, I am going to be start cutting those kits. My uh, product arrived already. So um, we're going to do that. And I see you guys asking me a lot of questions about the bear hunting. And I am always a little hesitant to um, give a lot of details about that because I don't want to offend anybody that's on here watching me for stamping stuff. But I am not getting a rug or anything made. We have several bear mounts in our house and we're bear mounted out. Um, but we do donate everything that we don't use. We brought home some roasts. We cut the bear. I helped cut the, I didn't help cut it. I helped package the meat, but we cut the bear. They cut the bear up while we were there. It's all deboned. Haley took home two great big hunks of bear meat, um, for roasts. My mom makes a really good roast with the bear and, um, everything gets used. So there's nothing, nothing that goes to waste. And, um, our, our hunting crew is really good about that. So 
Um, and like I said, I know some people are like, I don't want to hear about your dead bear and all the things. Well, this is me and this is kind of my show and this is kind of how it goes. <laughs> so I also have a cute little um, antidote for you guys. There's a lot of things that are set up at bear hunting, right? But one of the cutest things that I heard this last weekend, there's a four-year-old. His dad and mom are big, huge bear hunters, okay? And um, he goes to preschool. And in preschool, the teacher was asking, this is our fall season. We had summer, now we have fall. What season is next? Are you guys ready for this? This little four-year-old goes, bobcat season. <laughs> They hunt everything. It was so stinking cute. For me, the next season is already started and it's bow hunting. And bow hunting is one of my favorites. And um, I get to go spend some time at my mom's house. She has 40 acres in central Wisconsin and it's kind of in farm country. And I've been bow hunting for, gosh, I want to say 20 plus years. And I've only ever gotten one deer. So they're safe for my people who don't like hunting. They're good. The deer are pretty safe with me. Um, let's see. Who asked? Debbie just asked, how long can you access the online class? You can access my online classes. Once you buy them, you can you will get them in an email and you can have them forever. Okay? Um, you need to save them. Now, I do from time to time have people who can't find it. They've lost the email or um, they lost their hard drive on their computer and they will contact me and ask me if I can send them, you know, the two or three classes that they've already ordered. And I certainly am always happy to do that because we can't control the things that happen with technology, right? Or even not so much happen with technology, but stuff gets lost. Like it just does. So I'm always happy to send those to you. Again, all you have to do is say, I need the arrange a wreath class. I lost it or I, my computer you know, fried or whatever the case may be, Debbie. But I'm always happy to send those to you again. It's not a big deal. It's pretty easy. And did I just see a hi, honey, from my mom? I did. Hi, mom. We missed you. We're so sorry you couldn't come. So my mom couldn't come last weekend or this weekend because my niece had um, was sick. And I don't know if she got tested for COVID, but she kind of had the symptoms. So my mom wasn't able to come with us. And that was really sad. And we really missed her. And we were sad that she couldn't be there. So, but they're, they're kind of, um, wanting me to come up for the last weekend and I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. I can't go next weekend. Next weekend I'm headed to Michigan for a Stampin' Up! event. Well, not a Stampin' Up! event, a stamping event. Um, my friend Dina is a presenter at a, I think it's a leadership conference or maybe it's, I don't know what it is, but it's a stamping thing in Michigan. <laughs> I'm registered and paid for it. I have no idea what I'm going to. But this weekend I'm going to be heading to um, Iowa to meet up with Dina. And then we're going to um, Michigan for an event. I probably will not be live on Sunday night. We'll see how my week goes if I can get a live not live. And um, somebody just asked if you can buy past classes. Yes, you absolutely can. My kits I haven't been offering in a PDF only format. Um, I have a kit right now with the Have a Hoot bundle, which is super cool. And I'm going to be getting those cut up and packaged this week. And, um, but you can order any of the classes that don't say they're sold out. So, yes. Somebody said their son is a huge bow hunter. Vicky did. He is actually, oh crud. No, don't do that. I don't want to bring Dawn on camera. Sorry. See, that's what happens when you start touching things. Um... The lead bow tech for Expedition Archery. Oh, that's very exciting, Vicki. I would love you to send me a link to that. My husband watches a lot of hunting on TV. So, and Diane says, I'm so happy to see you're better. I am so happy to be better. And like I said, it was just like a, a switch was flipped Wednesday night. And I was like, I don't have a headache. I, my throat isn't sore. I feel really good. So somebody sent me a sweet card and they said, it was good to see you back online. And you said you felt better, but... She said, your hands were shaking and you didn't look like you were 100%. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize that. So you guys are so perceptive, right? So <laughs> very cool. Um, yeah, I really wasn't. I wasn't feeling great. I was able to work um, and that was about it. I was resting a lot. I was taking a lot of naps and really trying to make sure that I got myself better. So 
Do I bow hunt? I bow hunt and I also rifle hunt. We have another, when bow hunting is done, the week of Thanksgiving is our gun hunting in Wisconsin. So we do that. I'm going to Lansing, Michigan, Ellen. So that's where I will be, at least I think. <laughs> even up to me to not even know where I'm going. I'm pretty sure I'm going to Lansing. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, um, let me move these out of here. You know, everybody's losing their mind over... Um, Pumpkin spice is back. It's fall. Yay. Woohoo. Well, I don't like coffee and I'm not real big on the whole coffee pumpkin spice thing. So I always feel a little left out. Who is excited that candy corn is back because I am super excited. I love candy corn. It is like pure sugar in a corn kernel. It's corn. So it's got to be good for you, right? Love me some candy corn. Losing my mind over that. Cindy says her husband just, or her son just got a deer. Yay, him. Yeah, we're going to be deer hunting pretty soon. My husband's jacked. It's his favorite kind of hunting. He goes, he has gone out west elk hunting. That, um, he loves that, but it's really, really, really hard. And, um, he goes to Nebraska for a week of bow hunting every year. And then he's like hunting, 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 hunting. And he stays in my summer home at my mom's house when he's hunting at my mom's house. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, what else do I have? Oh, I wanted to tell you guys about the Joy to the World is our next pump, paper pumpkin kit. If you subscribe by October 10th, you will get this kit. It's going to be all about Christmas, and I can't hardly wait because paper pumpkin kits, when they first came out with paper pumpkin, it was like, eh. now they're amazing. Look at all these. These these were all little die cuts. Every single thing except the circle on here was a die cut. Same with this. Super, super cute. These are alternative ideas. Now, when you are a subscriber through Paper Pumpkin, through me, I give you a file. It's a PDF file, and it's got like 15 to plus, 15 to 20 different alternate idea cards. That's what these are. This is not what the Paper Pumpkin kit showed us to make, um, but... These are alternate ideas, and I give you a PDF file with 15 to 20 different ideas to use your paper pumpkin kit for if you want to make a whole bunch of stuff instead of, you know, however many, 10 of the things that are in the kit. You can do all kinds of stuff. And everybody's talking about mixed candy corn with roasted salted peanuts. I am all over this, ladies. <laughs> I hope Bev isn't watching because she's going to go like, that's not good for you. I know, Bev. But... You gotta live a little, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me put this stuff aside so I don't lose it. If you want to, I am in a paper pumpkin blog hop that was posted on my blog on Wednesday or Thursday. www.stampabove.com. Go to my blog. You'll see my paper pumpkin ideas. There's a blog hop there. So when you scroll down past my ideas, there's going to be a list of names. And when you click on the list... It'll take you to somebody else's blog and you get to see like, I don't know how many people were in this hop, like 50 to 20 people. All their alternate ideas are different from the alternate ideas that I send you in the PDF file. So being a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin is amazing. And Debbie just, Deb just said, oops, hang on. Where do you get all those hours in a day? You do more than anyone I know. So <laughs> Deb, I am very high energy and if my kids come over and I'm sitting in the living room watching TV, they'll go in the kitchen and go, what's to Steve? What's wrong with mom? That's not what I do. Um, I am always in my office doing this. This is what I love. This is my passion. I will take a nap if I'm tired and I do not get up early, but I stay up late, but I still get eight, nine hours of sleep a night. So it's just that I'm always working. A lot of people come home and they need to unwind from work and they need to relax and they might make supper. Remember, I don't cook anymore. Steve does all the cooking. And then they'll go in and relax and maybe read a book in the living room. I don't do that. I'm in here and I'm doing this because this is what I love. Right? Hi, Bridget Witty. I miss you. Bridget is one of my high school um, friends from high school. I graduated high school with her. Welcome. So... There you have it. That's how I get so much done is because I don't have a lot of downtime. But don't get me wrong. Kelly works hard, but Kelly plays hard. So I take a lot of trips. Right. Sharon says naps are important. I know. I take a lot of trips. Um, I go to lunch like maybe 
at least twice a week when we're, you know, not in a lockdown situation. I go to lunch, so I'll meet a friend for lunch or whatever. I'm doing those things, but I'm not, I don't spend a lot of idle time when I'm home. I have to be doing something. That's just who I am. It's crazy. I know. It's completely insane. And people always say, oh my gosh, I don't know how you do so much. Well, that's what I do. That's my fun. M&M's, dried cranberries, candy corn, and salted peanuts. Love it, Char. And that is completely a Wisconsin snack, right? Yeah, you need to try. Yeah, lunch. Rose goes, lunch, my favorite. Rose is one of the people that I will go to lunch with. Um, we were doing like probably every other week for a while, and then we had the shutdown. And now Rose is working from home, so that stinks. Anyhow, I said I was going to find my live my computer. I still didn't even get to that. Oh, I just pulled me up. We're fine. And I see comments today. So that is outstanding. Remember we were having problems. We couldn't get comments to come through. I've got prizes to award you guys. Let's get on with that. So I have, hang on. I've got little stickers falling off of things. Oh, that was for that. This is for this. So if you share my video, I miss our lunches too, Rose, believe me. We need to get back in that habit. I can drive out towards you. I'm not opposed to that. Um, for leaving a comment, if you are new to me, please leave a comment, anything. Sue, if you haven't gotten your paper pumpkin kit, please call Stampin' Up, and they will help you with that. Um, I heard from somebody else who hadn't gotten their kit yet either, so... Um, for leaving a comment, you want to leave a comment, even if you just say, hi, I'm Judy from Mexico, uh, New Mexico or whatever. Leave a comment because that enters you into a drawing to win fabulous prizes. I am giving away these adhesive-backed snowflakes. I hope you guys can even see these. They are so nice and they're iridescent and they're so pretty. They're going to look great on your winter cards. And I don't just say Christmas because I make a lot of like birthday get well cards with snowmen or winter themes. So keep that in mind when you're looking at your snowmen sets. They're not just for Christmas. So anyways, blah, blah, blah. Um, Donna Bradford. Let me see if I can figure out where Donna Bradford is from. I had a little list here. Here it is. Okay. Hang on. I have to do another candy corn. Donna Bradford. And I don't know where Donna Bradford is from. So that means I probably don't have your address, Donna. If you're watching, please email me, Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at stampabub.com so I can get you your prize of these amazing adhesive back snowflakes. Woohoo! Now, the second way you can win fabulous prizes is by sharing my video. So right now, somewhere's on your device, whatever you're watching on is a little share button. And if you click on that share button and share this to your timeline, you get entered for another drawing. This is the 2020-2022 in color, six by six designer series paper. Beautiful. This is a whole pack. And our winner is Bernice D. Anthony. And I think Bernice is on here tonight. I think I saw her name. She's from Bakersfield, California. Congratulations, Bernice, and thank you so much for sharing my video that won you this fabulous prize. <laughs> the third way you can win a prize from me is by placing an order with me, and I put all the people that order from me throughout the week from last Sunday into a drawing. Look what I have. Festive Corners. This is a cool little set. It's got Christmas, um, Valentine's, Halloween... Yep, there you go. Festive Corners. Our winner for that is Mary Swanson. Mary Swanson is from Stevens Point, Wisconsin. We just went through there today. I'm sorry I couldn't stop, Mary. I was sleeping. <laughs> Congratulations to all my winners. And I'm going to set these back here so I do not lose track of them. And then... Marsha mentioned to me last week that I had not awarded a prize for the mystery stamping that I had in August. And we did a little mystery stamping and everybody who submitted a card using the mystery stamp stuff got um, entered in a drawing. And I thought I did the drawing, but I cannot find where I ever awarded anything. So even if I did, I did another drawing and we're going to give away some more fabulous prizes. <laughs> So, today, 
I have a roll of this amazing cherry cobbler, beautiful striped ribbon. This is perfect for the seasons. And to go with that, I've got the Tool Tidings Glitter Dots in green and red. So both of these, whoops, both of these items. And our winner that submitted a card to the mystery stamping was Donna Lathrop. Congratulations, Donna. Woohoo! I will get that. I do I do have your um, address, Donna. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do. It's right here. So I will get those things out to you. And please make sure that... Where did that go? Donna Bradford, I need your address. I don't think I have that one. Okay. So let me put all my little notes back here. I think we're ready to stamp. Somebody was asking about online classes. You can find all of my online classes in on my blog www.astampabove.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the right-hand column is a bunch of buttons. You'll find a $99 kit button. You'll find an online technique club button. There's also one there that says online classes. And when you click on that, it'll take you to a screen that you can scroll through and see all the classes that I have available. Thank you for asking that, by the way. All right. I think what we're going to make today... If you follow me on my blog, if you don't, you should, but if you follow me on my blog, you saw that I made this, oh gosh, I kind of cranked it up in my box here, that I made this amazing, adorable little mini pizza box, right? This is with the Arrange a Wreath bundle. I made this for a blog hop with the Totally Techniques design team on Friday. You can find that on my blog. You can hop from blog to blog. We're demonstrators from all over the world. And our theme was 3D boxes. So this was my 3D box. I know, I think it's stinking adorable. We're gonna talk a little bit about this. I'm just gonna get everything unpacked here so I'm ready to go. And yeah, I can set this aside. I don't need this anymore. Um, I'll throw it over there. Everything goes on the floor. Does it, yeah. I'm sure that doesn't happen at your house. I've got stuff piled all over the floor because that's how I can keep it, you know, from being crazy. Okay, um, getting all my stuff unloaded here and then we're going to start making beautiful things. And I'm going to set this up there because I don't need that for this project and that. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm going to flip you guys around. I've been actually looking at a software that'll flip for me seamlessly, but I'm just not ready to take that jump yet because it takes time to figure it all out and make sure it works right and all the things. And so for now, we're just going to hand flip. If you get motion sickness, please do not um, uh, close your eyes. I'll tell you when you can open them. And we're going to flip right now. You can see up my nose. Here we go. And I have to unmirror my screen. Hang on. Whoops. It's always scary when you do this because it's so easy to hit the wrong button and end everything. Okay, I'm going to set this out of the way because I don't like it glaring at you. So, talk a little bit about... You can open your eyes. Sorry, I always forget that part. Um, a little bit about this box. These little mini paper pumpkin boxes are so cute. And what I used was the Gilded Autumn Specialty Designer Series paper. And, you know, out of all of this beautiful paper, this one in here was like, huh, I'm not sure what to do with that. Well, when I needed to make a box, I thought that will be an awesome background for my box, right? Because it's very, like, mellow, but it's still got the, the um, fall kind of color going on there. So that's what I did. And look at how cute this is, right? So I said on my blog hop that I would be showing people what I put in the box. And that's what I'm going to share with you tonight. So first thing first, I don't know what this is. Oh, I do know what that is. Like, What is that? You know, I came home after being gone for a few days and then my brain gets a little discombobulated. So it gets kind of tricky um, to remember. It's like, what was I going to do? What was happening? Da, 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 da. So I'm using our note cards and envelopes, and these are fabulous. You get 20 note cards and 20 envelopes in a package for $7. Now, I wanted to let you know, once you fold these, they are, they are five by three and a half inches, 
and the envelopes are five, whoops, five and an eighth by three and five eighths. Hang on, I think I might sneeze here shortly. Maybe not. Okay, so I always like to kind of pull these. Sometimes the scoring is just a touch off, so you want to make sure you fold them and then kind of force them so that they're nice and even if you, if you, it doesn't happen on all of them, but sometimes it does. Just pay attention to that. So you won't have a crooked folded envelope. Now, what I decided to do here, let me bring in all my pieces. Oops. I got all the little bits and pieces. I got my dimensions here on a little cheat sheet and set that in my phone holder so I know what the heck I am doing. Oh, and I forgot to get out, hang on. I forgot to get out a chunk of vellum. That was harder than it should have been. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we've got we've got a whole bunch of little scraps here, all beautiful fall colors. I'm gonna grab a piece of pumpkin pie because I, for some reason, didn't have that up here either. That's when you think you got all your ducks in a row. You find out they're not. Okay. So here's what I did. I took this beautiful paper and I used this very. Um, neutral side. This is cut at three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Okay. And that is the perfect size to fit right here on the front of a note card. So that's why I cut it that size. Oops. Hang on. Something fell. That's very important. I don't want that to go down by my garbage can. Okay. What I did here is I took my early espresso ink and where's my stamp set? There are 15 different stamps in here. And remember, this is the one I have a brand new online class with the Arrange a Wreath Bundle. 15 different stamps in here. I'm going to use the Give Thanks because it's, th it's Thanksgiving. It's not Thanksgiving. It's a fall card set, and I think Give Thanks is perfect. I'm just going to stamp this right in the middle of my designer series paper. And now I can add this to the front of my note card. Just like this. Okay. Oh, I can leave this open. Hang on, Kelly hasn't stamped in a few days. Things get a little, it's hard. <laughs> All right, next I'm gonna grab my dies. And you've got this beautiful wreath die in there. Oh, and by the way, sometimes you'll find that my hands shake. They were shaking when I didn't feel good. I mean, they were. But sometimes my hands shake because I tend to drink a lot of caffeine. The other reason is my dad had a shaky thing going on. Like, his hands shook like crazy. He could be the most accurate person with a rifle that I've ever seen. But uh, he was real shaky. So I think I kind of inherited a little bit of that from him. The, the shakiness. Okay, so we've got these two gorgeous wreaths here. Can you mail this card? Somebody, Sherry just asked, can you mail this card? Yes, you can. You can mail this. I have asked the post office. It will go through the mail. So great question. I was going to tell you guys that and I completely forgot. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to die cut this kind of bulby, I don't know what you would call it, spriggy looking wreath on our vellum cardstock. I am going to die cut the leafy wreath on um, pumpkin pie cardstock. And of course, through my magic, the, the magic that I do here, ready? Through the magic, <laughs> I have all of these. So let's see if I can get them undone here. Look at how pretty these are, right? So this is what we're gonna do to our card. Yeah, let me get things put back together here. Okay, I am going to take my card and we are going to... Now, there's several different ways you can adhere your wreaths to whatever you're making. One of the ways, I used some mini glue dots, but I had to kind of curl them up and I didn't want them sticking out from an underneath so you could see them when you're done with your project. You know, I hate that. 
So I'm just adding some little glue dots. You could take your sponge and glue. I, I like to do that too, but I'm being lazy right now. We got a lot of things to make tonight. And I have a lot of mail to show you. So I want to get I want you to get the most for your money, right? Your money. I just said that. I didn't even mean to be silly. But yeah, this is free. Nobody's paying money. <laughs> I'm gonna put this with my give thanks. That was really funny. Can I see some funny faces come up on the screen? Laughy faces for your money. Um, I am going to just center this over my give thanks. And if you're uncomfortable just stamping the give thanks, what if it's not in the center, whatever, just put a wreath over it and put some little pencil marks so you know. Um, oh, Rhonda just said my boss and our secretary had corona and they both have shaky hands now. It sounds like a side effect. There have been a lot of side effects, you guys. I am not going to lie. A lot of side effects, like weird stuff. Like, remember, I don't know if I told you guys this, but my I woke up one morning and my eyelid was all swollen. And it hurt, like, it hurt really bad. Like, somebody punched me. And I got up and told Steve, and he's like, I did not touch you. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Okay, so I got my glue on the back of my wreath here. And I'm going to just put that right over top of my vellum wreath. Now, you got to kind of hold it a little bit because it takes a bit for the glue to adhere, especially if it's hitting the vellum. I think that's going to be good. Look how pretty that is already. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I need to bring back in the ribbon. This is the ribbon that's included when you order the whole bundle from me for the arranger wreath class. You get a whole roll of this ribbon plus the red braided trim. Okay, here we go. I'm just making a little bow. I was gonna get my mini glue dots out when I was getting ready and I'm like, oh, I don't need those for anything. Yeah, you do, Kelly. Okay, hang on. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade. As usual, I'm pretty boring. I'm kind of a creature of habit, but I like it. That's the thing I drink that has caffeine in it. It's called a calorie burner. So, yeah, it just, you know, it hypes you up. That's how I can have this energy level. That's another reason how I can be, you know, have so much energy, you guys, is that, that caffeine boost. Some people drink soda. Some people drink tea. Some people drink um, coffee for their caffeine. I drink my calorie burner, which depending on how many um, candy corns I eat, burns calories or doesn't. <laughs> Isn't that cute? This is stinking adorable. Now, look at the rest of the cards. I made a whole, oh, um, yeah, could stamp, stamp up your envelope, make it really cute. I didn't do that yet. Look at this one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. So you've got this whole set here. So we've got Cajun Craze, Rich Razzleberry, Bumblebee, and Pumpkin Pie. All have the vellum wreath underneath. All say give thanks. And now we're going to put, whoops, put all of these. These fit perfectly inside our cute little pizza box. And you can, of course, decorate up the inside of the pizza box with designer paper too. Look at how cute that is. I think I'm gonna give this to my mom. My mom probably isn't on here anymore because she doesn't stamp, but she does um, usually like to watch my introduction, which is really cute. <laughs> so isn't this cute? Super, super cute. Okay, so one thing I wanna do that I did to the rest of these cards is show you this little technique that I like to use with my Stamparatus. Did you guys, oh, here it is. Okay, so that's what that piece of paper was that was sitting here that I couldn't remember what it was for. Here comes my piece of paper. Okay, so this is just a crummy piece of cheapo white cardstock that I use for these types of things. I'm gonna bring that in. Now remember, when you're using your Stamparatus, this is the little pad that comes, well, this is, oh, actually you get another pad. This is, a, um, this is an accessory you can buy, but you do get another pad that you can do this with. It doesn't have this grid on it, I think. So you get a pad like this, okay? 
So um, you need to use this pad when you're using the clear photopolymer stamps because they're not as tall as our red rubber stamps. So I almost forgot to do that when we were using this, um, when I was using this the other day. So I've just got a crummy piece of white cardstock in here. Always make sure that you keep your magnets away from each other. There's a magnet here and a magnet here. If you let them smack together on the front of your Stamparatus, they will break. And then you just have to let it go and say, now I have more magnets, right? Because we need to look on the bright side of things. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you're going to do here, let me grab, um, oh, I needed to, hang, here's my pumpkin pie. I forgot that I needed to probably add some ink to this because it was pretty wimpy when I used it last week. So hang on. If you guys... This is how I re-ink my ink pads. I'm pretty sure this is standard across the board how you do it. I just kind of scribble the ink all over. You usually get it all over your fingers, so be prepared for that. We are kind of messy, aren't we? And then I take my plastic spoon and I smush my ink in. Hmm. Here we go. My, I think my ink pad was really dry. I must have left it open. That's why I always buy re-inkers when I buy a new ink color, like an ink pad. Always get the re-inker for it, because if you make a mistake and leave that open, it is going to be really hard for you when you open it up and you can't use it because it's dry. <clears throat> So I just saw somebody, and then I take out my baby wipes, I clean off my spoon, and I put it back in my little arsenal of tools here. Hang on, I just saw somebody. Is it a mini paper pumpkin box? Yes, this is a mini paper pumpkin box. The mini paper pumpkin box. You can get 10 of them in a pack for $7, and they come flat like this. If you go and watch my video from Friday, I assembled it on there and told you all the things about it. Okay. So hang on, let me set, that's going to knock my peanuts over. There we go. It'll be okay. So then what I do, and I'm going to show you with another stamp here. Like we're going to pretend like this is our leaf stamp. Okay, so you're going to take your leaf stamp and you're going to put it on here. And then you're going to close this and that's going to pick up the stamp right here. That's a very important step. Now. I've already done this with my leaf, so I didn't want to move it and do it again. Once you have your leaf, you're going to ink it up. You're going to stamp it. Now, you got to make sure that your paper is all the way up here in the corner. Stamp your leaf, and now you're going to take this over to your die cutting machine and die cut this leaf. You want to make sure um, either use the magnetic plate if you have one or take a very used piece of washi tape and make sure that that doesn't move. That is very, very important in this technique that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so once you have this done, it's gonna look like this, okay? So you just cut a leaf out of it. And this is going to be our template because for the box that I made, I cut out a whole bunch of leaves, and I did not want to stamp those all on a piece of paper and then die cut one and die cut two and die cut three because then it'll wiggle a little and then it's off and you got to redo it and die cut four and five and six and seven and eight leaves, right? So this is how I like to do my leaves. Where did my, um, here they are. You can take your die, whatever it is, the leaf, and you can just die cut a whole bunch of whatever color of leaves that you need. And these are pumpkin pie leaves, okay? Now you can take them and set them down in your template, ink up. Oh, another thing that's really nice to do is to take a stamp case and put it under here so this stays flat. It's not like tilted down. It's just easier to work with. You ink this up and then you stamp it and it's going to stamp perfectly on all these leaves. And when I have a lot of dies that I want to use, let's say I'm making a swap or I'm going to make a whole bunch of these fall cards for all of my friends and family, I like to do this because it's so much easier. And I know that every single time my leaf is going to be perfectly stamped, right? 
I mean, it's, it's awesome. And this is how I do multiple cards. This is great, especially for if you're doing Christmas cards and you have a die that has a stamp with it. Do this. Now, the one thing you have to be sure of is that if this gets pulled off or moved or you always have to make sure that this stays back in that top corner because that's where your template is perfectly positioned. That's why we call this one of the best positioning tools ever is because you can do stuff like this with it. And I love to use my Stamparatus for that. Now, if you don't have a Stamparatus, I highly recommend you get one. You're going to love it. Go back and watch this video so that you remember how to do this little technique. But it's also fabulous for getting your words straight. I know I struggle a lot. I'll get a beautiful card made and I'll go to stamp my words and I'll get them crooked. Or I didn't stamp them all the way. And now you have to try and line it up and stamp it all, you know, get it perfect over top. And it's just like, ugh. If you use your Stamparatus, you don't have to worry about things like that. Because if you use it here, let's say I stamped this on my layer, but it wasn't stamped all the way. I can ink it up again and stamp it again because it's going to stamp in the exact same place. So that's why I use the Stamparatus for this. And I stamped up all of these leaves with the Stamparatus. I just changed the ink color on all of them. So what I did, let me close this up. What I did is I took these little die cut leaves and I added them to the inside of each of these cards. So you've got a little bit going on on the inside of all of my little note cards. There's my Rich Razzleberry, here's my Cajun Craze, here's my Bumblebee. And these are going to be fabulous. I think that, I hope my mom's still not on here because I like to give her gifts, but I don't want her to know about it ahead of time. That's not fun. Also, another thing that I thought of after the fact is I could take some of the plaid tidings, that's that plaid paper, and I could put that on the flap. And wouldn't that look fabulous with all of these cards too? So there you go. Cute little gift set. If you're going someplace for Thanksgiving, I would highly recommend making something like this for your hostess. Maybe give it um, a fall theme and um, what was I going to say? You could even put some, well, a set of thank you cards is nice to have anytime, but you could also do like a snowflake theme and make it a thank you. Again, thank you cards because we all need thank you cards for the Christmas presents we're going to get, right? So that's another great idea. Now, I have all of these things left over that I die cut because I wasn't sure how many I need for my box, what I was going to do with my cards before I designed them. So another little good tip is I like to take any die cuts. I don't want to waste them. You hate to throw them away, right? I like to take those and put them in the back or I should say the front of my envelope because next time I pull this out, I'll be like, oh, do I have anything die cut already that I can use this, right? And if you guys remember, when Molly comes over, <laughs> she always says, Grandma Kelly, do you have anything I can do? And so this was new and I gave her the wreath die and said, die cut me a whole bunch of these. So I'll be able to use these for cards that I'm gonna make. Yeah. <laughs> Child labor. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay, so here's my cutie patootie little box. All my cute little cards. I'm going to put all these things away. Don't forget, I have an online class. So now you've got a whole other idea with the Arrange a Wreath. 15 stamps. I think there's like 21, 21 dies in here, you guys. Oh, where are my dies? I can't. I gotta get the big ones back in here. This is a fabulous bundle. And it was super fun creating the cards for the online class. Oh, and by the way, the um, online class PDF for the Arranger Wreath, I am going to have available by Friday. This was a pre-order for this whole class. I'll be working on all of the, getting all the cards cut and stuff this week and the pre-cut card stock packs out. But um, the PDF will be available on Friday. That's the deadline that I have given to you. That was funny because people were like, Kelly, you need to rest. You need to do this. It's like, yeah, I know, but, 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 but I have all these deadlines and thank God I have really good friends because they picked up the slack on a lot of stuff that I had deadlines for. 
It's not just about me and stamping and making pretty things to show you each Sunday. Like, I'm in a whole bunch of different stamping groups. So, it gets a little crazy sometimes, right? Okay, next. We are going to have so much fun with this. I absolutely love the card that I'm going to share with you. Both of them, actually. I've got two more cards. I hope we have enough time to get them both done. I hate to keep you guys super late because I know coming on at 7 p.m. gets, you know, it gets a little long. Don't forget that if you ever have to leave, you can come back and watch. You can fast forward the video to where you left off and you can, you can, um, see so you don't miss anything. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Do I have everything? No. Here we go. Okay, lots of lots of things here. Now, you guys know that we have a kit promotion going on right now. This is what Stampin' Up! calls their starter kit. And if you would like to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, this is the kit that you would order to do that. However, if you want to be a discount shopper, if you are a stamper and you're not getting your Stampin' Up! products at a discount by ordering this kit, you really should. Wednesday is the last day for this fabulous get and go starter kit promotion. You get two different packages with eight, eight cards in each, all pre-cut cardstock pack and a PDF like this showing you exactly what to do with it. You get two different ideas with each pack of cards to make. There's instructions here. They tell you what the ink colors are. Our starter kit is $125, but you only pay $99. You get free shipping on it. You get a paper pumpkin um, gift certificate to redeem next month. During the month of September, oh, and you get to choose anything you want for that $125. Anything you want, that's what your kit will be for only $99 in free shipping. Now, during the month of September, you're going to get, in addition to your $25, you, $125 you picked out, you're going to get a Queen Anne's Lace stamp set. This is beautiful. You're also going to get the So Much Love stamp set, another beautiful stamp set, and a package of rhinestones to go with your two packs of eight cards each for a total of 16 layers to make 16 different cards with these two stamp sets and the rhinestones. This is an incredible, incredible deal. Now, what does it mean to be a discount shopper or a demonstrator? It means that you get a 20% discount on all your future orders, okay? You also get to be part of my team, which is amazing. I have a whole bunch of my team members on here and they will all tell you that they love being part of something bigger. Being part of my team is so much fun. Whether you're a discount shopper or a business builder, you get to do that. You get to participate in everything. I do not discriminate. <laughs> so we are going to make a beautiful card here with the So Much Love stamp set. This was a stamp set that a few people, they weren't that excited about it. But I have some really pretty cards to share with you. And I think you're going to fall in love with it like I did. So, details. My cardstock is Rich Razzleberry. And it is 5.5 by 8.5. We're going to fold that in half. And burnish that edge good. See, I got the, there's all the um, pumpkin pie reinker. I can never do it without making a mess out of myself. <laughs> then we have a whisper white layer. This is four by five and a quarter. That's for the inside. Then we're going to use crumb cake, three and three quarters by five, and a whisper white layer behind it that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So I think the first thing we're going to do, did you see my rich razzleberry ink? Oh, here it is. Hang on, I'm going to get the Rich Razzleberry ink. Let me get this stuff stacked out of my way so I got a little bit more room. Rich Razzleberry ink. In this stamp set, you have a bigger flower and a little bit smaller flower. You have three sentiments and these cute little dots. So there's six stamps in this one. We are going to take the, um, let's see, which one's the bigger one? We're going to take the smaller flower, and it doesn't really matter. And we're going to stamp that... 
on the larger white layer. Okay, I just had to make sure which one is the larger one. This is the four by five and a quarter. And I'm just gonna stamp that right down here. Okay, with the rich Razzleberry ink. Close that up. We're going to add that right to the inside of our card. Here we go. So we were all chatting today while we were in the truck driving around. Oh, you know what? I should put one on here too. And um, Jared was just really mesmerized how well Val does sitting in her car seat for such a long time because bear hunting is a lot of just driving around. And, um, oh, I screwed that up. Hang on. Find some more envelopes here. I happen to have a ton of them. <laughs> Anyways, Jared was commenting like, wow, you know, um, Val is so good sitting in her car seat. Like, it's hard to believe that she's being that good while she's sitting in her car seat. And uh, he goes to Haley. Hang on, I'm looking for something. He goes to Haley, what would you do if, like, she didn't do this? And she goes, well, uh, she would be on formula and she'd be at home with you, Jared. <laughs> So I thought that was kind of funny because like Haley's like, I'm not missing my bear hunting. If this child didn't cooperate, she would be at home with her daddy and she'd be drinking formula. So it was kind of funny. Some of the things we say, right? Oh, <laughs> okay, you guys, I didn't do that. Just ignore that part. Here we go. We're going to stamp this right. Oh, I got it this time. Woohoo! I don't need to clean that. Okay, so... That's what happens when we're laughing too much, right? Now, we're going to bring in this bigger flower, and I've got some Versamark ink here. I'm going to ink this up. And let's see if I can get the lid on it. There we go. Sometimes things are hard, right? Here's our piece of crumb cake. Make sure you got your flower right side up, and I'm going to stamp that right here, okay? And we are going to take... The white embossing powder that's in this handy dandy little container that Jamie gave me. Oh my gosh, she was so sweet to give me all these little containers. And there we go. I like to do this a little bit on the back. It kind of gets that excess off. That was white embossing powder. And then, let me move this out of the way. Put that over there. We're going to hit this with a heat tool. And this is my old dinosaur. My other one is in a drawer someplace. I just, I'm too lazy to get it out. But you're gonna do this, and then when you're all done, it's gonna look like that. So everything gets nice and embossed. I'll set that aside, we'll do that later. Hang on, I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, so here we go. Now, we're gonna do a technique on here. Oh, this is, is this for my other? Oh no, this is my layer. For on the front. Let me set that aside. I don't want to get too confused. Um, we have, these are called our new water painters. And the neat thing about these is that there's three different sizes in them now. And I couldn't be happier about that. Look at this beauty. This is for watercolor washes that are really cool. Okay. I think the technique that we're going to do right now is called a watercolor wash. I actually um, messaged my friend Barb and said, Barb, I can't think of the name of this technique. So you guys can tell me if you're wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We don't need a brush that's this big, but I love that we have that in this pack. Then we also have one that's a very small. You just open these up and add water, just like our aqua painters, and one that's a medium size. And I think we're going to use the medium size one. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some craft, white craft ink. And we're going to use, um, oh, hang on. I always like to do this in the lid. So I've got my um, re-inker, my craft re-inker white. And I'm going to put some right here. Okay, I've got just a dabble there. And then I'm going to take my water brush and I'm going to add some water to it. And then I'm going to mix it up. So I put about three drops in it. It makes it pretty runny, 
okay? And then I'm just gonna tap that off a little bit and I'm gonna come in here and I am going to color over my embossed flower. And this kind of leaves an opaque on your, uh, because we're using crumb cake, right? You can kind of see a little bit of the crumb cake coming through. The more water you put into your craft ink, that little puddle we made, is the more opaque this is going to be. So you can make it be whatever you need it to be. Test it out on a scrap and see, you know, do you need to add more reinker? Do you need to add more water? Is it too thick? But it you tend to need it to be a little bit thinner than you think you're gonna. Okay, there we go. Here's our pretty flower, right? Now I'm just gonna leave that alone so it'll dry. Um, I would probably take this in and wash it out in the sink. Most of the time you just do this with your um, water painter to get the ink off of it. Because this is craft, I think that I will probably do that. I could make a whole bunch of cards with this puddle right here, but I'm going to sop that up so I can put my ink pad away. White craft ink comes, this is an old one because I've had this forever, but our white craft ink pads come uninked and then you get a bottle of reinker and you ink it up yourself just like I showed you how to do the pumpkin pie ink pad. You do that. Works great. Okay, now the other thing that I thought was really super cool about this card is I used my aqua painters. I'm not aqua painters. <laughs> my Stampin' Blends. Oh my lord. So I use my Stampin' Blends, and this is really kind of cool. Hang on just a second. I am testing to see which color I use, because I made this card, and then I still wasn't feeling good. I wanted to do some videos with it, but I didn't because I just couldn't get it together. <laughs> I am coloring these little flowers with the light rich razzleberry that's what I was testing do I want to use light or dark because I can't remember I used the light rich razzleberry look at how cool that looks right on craft ink or crumb cake ink or cardstock crumb cake cardstock get it together Kelly <laughs> I can do this it is not my first day but I just love the way you can color on the colored cardstock and it really pops I think it's really neat okay there's our little flowers. Now I'm going to bring in my dark old olive. And I'm just going to kind of use the lines that Stampin' Up! has given us with the artwork and do the dark to put some shading in here. I'm trying to be quick and neat, which sometimes doesn't work out that great. You know what I mean? Thank goodness I have another card made that I did not do quick. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to bring in my, here's what we have so far. Now I'm going to bring in my um, light. And I like to kind of go around the outside edge so I can stay in the lines and then do a little bit of blending. Outside edge, just like a coloring book, right? There we go. Kind of quiet. What should I be telling you right now? I had a list of things I was going to tell you and I can't find the darn thing. I think I had some more funny stories. I don't know. My mom messaged me this morning. My mom is so funny, right? She messaged me this morning because anytime we get a bear, somebody usually... And we call it takes one for the team. They have a little too much to drink that night. And then they end up with a really bad hangover. And uh, my mom asked, because I'm not a big drinker. I know you guys think that I drink a lot because I talk about margaritas a lot. And I do like them, but I don't drink very often at all. And my mom said she messaged me at 5 o'clock this morning. So who took one for the team last night knowing that I probably was not drinking? <laughs> my friend Sonny. <laughs> he had a good time last night. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, this is Wink of Stella. This is dry now. I am going to come in here and add some blingy blingy to my beautiful flower. 
and this really really adds a lot it's so so pretty I'm just gonna tilt it in the light to make sure that I got wink all over my flower so you can see you know you can see where it's glimmery and now I'm gonna come in on my rich razzleberry flowers can you guys see that at all I know I usually do this too fast I'm trying to be slower about it oh I see I forgot to do my stems on my flowers and then and I just hit my card with the wink of Stella okay um let me bring back in my I gotta get these little stems because that's kind of dumb looking. <laughs> Nobody wants your dumb looking card, Kelly. Get it right. No, I'm just kidding. Nobody would ever say that. Well, maybe they would, but we wouldn't like them anymore. That's for sure. Okay, here we go. Um. Oh, let me show you this now. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Wait until you see what we do with this. So I'm going to grab my rich razzleberry ink again. And... I've got the sentiment that says so much love for you and I love these kind of sentiments because I can send these to any of my friends right it doesn't have to be about Valentine's Day or hoochie coochie love it can be just friend love <laughs> hoochie coochie love I don't know where I came up with that um, and then I've got the tailored tag punch I really do like this punch like I use it frequently I love punches because they're quick and easy. And don't get me wrong, I do like dies, but let's be real. Dies are more work, and I have told you all that I am kind of a lazy stamper sometimes. Okay, so here's our white one. <laughs> Who is switching to the pens? <laughs> Did I make somebody pee their pants again? <laughs> I know I'm kind of good, good at that, right? Okay. Um, we have one of these and this is rich razzleberry scrap. We're just going to cut it down the middle like that because I love to put that border on the top and the bottom to make this more substantial. I mean, you could just put a white tag on your card, right? But mm, putting a white tag with a rich razzleberry border on it is just better. Oh, let's see if I can get it on here right. Unless you can't get it on straight, and then you should give it up, because that's not better. <laughs> it's worse. Nobody is going to like that. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, I think my husband just came in the house. I hear some growling out there. <laughs> he doesn't usually come in the house growling. I think he was maybe clearing his throat, like, mm. <laughs> Or maybe he's eating something that's delicious because I am getting kind of hungry. Okay, there we go. Look at, isn't that cool? I just love doing that. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is we are going to mount our um, crumb cake layer onto the whisper white layer. And this whisper white layer is five and an eighth by four and seven eighths. And then we're going to bring out our Whisper White seam, Crinkled Seam Binding. I'm like, what is this called? Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie it. I want to leave enough so I can tie a bow. I'm going to tie that kind of off over here to the side. Sometimes bows are hard, right? Let's see if Kelly has it. Let's see if she's got her game back, right? There you go. I can do this. Yay! Kelly's got her game back. All right. Do I want to finagle it around here? Maybe. Okay, here we go. We're going to trim off the tails. Sometimes we're a little more wasty than other types, right? <laughs> and then I've got dimensionals here someplace. Here they come. Got my little dimensionals. All my lines all over them so I know if the backing's off of them because I hate that. That was like a game-changing tip for me to put 
blinds on and I can't remember who told me but it was one of my wonderful followers that said Kelly if you put lines all over them then you can see when you get those backings off and I'm like oh genius okay here we go make sure that's on here straight and then we're going to adhere this to our rich raspberry layer oh my goodness Look at how pretty that is. We still have one more thing we need to do. We need to add some bling bling. And I am going to add a large one, a medium one, a small one, just like that. I'm gonna put, you get a whole card of these with your kit and you don't have to pay for them. Oops, man. So, um, B? with them. Oops. Hang on. Whoops. I don't want that over there. I want it here. <gasps> Look how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that just neat? Yeah. I love this card. And this is the free stamp set that you get when you order the kit to become a discount shopper. The get and go kit comes with this stamp set, rhinestones, this stamp set and two packs of cut up pieces to make eight cards each for a total of 16. Cough crazy. If you are not with Stamping Up yet, you need to join my team. It's a lot of fun, first of all, but secondly, you should be getting a discount. And there's no drawback. If you join and you decide, yeah, I don't know if this is for me or not, nobody shows up at your door asking for your kit stuff back because you got such a good deal on it, nothing happens. You just aren't active anymore. So there's no drawback to this. Now, do you guys want to see another card or have you had enough of me tonight? I'm going to wait to see a few things while I kind of clean up my mess a little bit here. Hang on, where did my other layers of cardstock go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> yeah, Connie says she had her doubts about the white flower, but it turned out pretty neat. It is, it's really, it's very stunning in person, you guys. Very stunning. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see another card, more, more, another one. Okay, so there's our one card. Okay, let me put in a little commercial. Remember, I always appreciate your orders. You're going to find my blog right here with an online ordering button in the right-hand column. And this is my current host code. If your order is under $150, please use that. If it's over, don't use it. You'll get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I want you to have those. Whew! Really quick, right? <laughs> okay, here comes the next one. We have a Whisper White card base. Uh, let me get rid of this. And... A piece of Calypso Coral that is four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna have to clean off my stamp here. Oh, Marcia said she'd rather watch me than the Packer game. You know, I thought about that earlier today. It's like, oh, I'm up against the Packers tonight. That's gonna be horrible. But we're doing just fine, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, um, let's see, we are going to take the larger of the two flowers and our Calypso Coral ink. We are going to ink this up. Usually when I have a bigger stamp like this, I like to leave my stamp lay there and bring my ink pad to it. So it just, you, you, I feel like I have more control and I can see what's going on with the bigger stamps. Here comes another one. So this is tone on tone. And I planned on making, you guys, a whole bunch of these cards for you to show you, or using these two stamp sets to show you just how beautiful and beneficial it is to order this kit because you get these two beautiful stamp sets free. And I planned on making a whole bunch of cards for you, but then I got sick. And so that was the end of that, right? But I had already made these two cards and it was great because when I um, went up north to go hunting over the weekend, I was like, oh my gosh, I have these cards that I had planned on showing everybody that I never got to because I got sick. I can use those for my Facebook Live. So usually I would have shown something like this for a promotion at the beginning of the month when it started, but that isn't how life went for Kelly, right? 
<laughs> like, that is not the way things turned out for me. So, I am just getting on really sharing about this promotion. Okay, this is You Made My Day. I'm going to stamp this right on a white scrap with the Calypso Coral ink. And then I'm going to bring in, again, my two-inch circle punch. And I say, again, meaning another punch because I love me some punches. There we go. All right. Just so you guys know, still photos and um, dimensions and shopping lists and ingredients and all that information can be found after I'm done with my Facebook Live on my blog. And most of the time it's the same night. Sometimes I'm just tired and I need to go to bed and I'll get it up in the morning. But just so you know, you can always go back and find these things. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have cleaned that yet because I'm yakking and then I lose my train of thought because you have the squirrel thing going on. Jeez Louise. Okay. <laughs> Char says her husband controls the remote. Packer game. Cars going left. John Wayne. I watch Kelly. Amen, sister. I totally can relate to that whole sentence you put in there. Okay. One more. Oh, let me see. Did, is that what I did? Yep. That's exactly what I did. I needed to look because maybe I had a better idea, but this is beautiful, right? I love doing just a part of it. I think that's a very interesting look. Okay. Here we go. Now, we're going to take that same large stamp. So I used the large one throughout the whole thing here, I think. And um, now we're going to grab our Memento ink, which is, did I, oh, here it is. Let's close this up. <laughs> Denise says she can relate too, Char. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we're going to, well, let's get our card base out of here. Where's an, I got another scrap here somewhere. So here it is. White scrap. Now we're going to come in and stamp our big flower on a white scrap. And now we're going to bring in the rest of these. Uh-oh. I'm missing a marker. Let me look. Um, I got pumpkin pie up there. I want clips of coral. Oh, here it is. Woo! I'm like, where did it go, please? Okay, here we go. So I've got Calypso Coral and Old Olive. And before I get started on that, I am going to look for my silly little list that I had out here. Because I can't remember if I have any more crazy stories or not. Here it is. Okay, here we go. Because then while I'm doing all this, you know, because coloring is a little boring when you're watching on a video, Dark clips of Coral, and I love to go around and just kind of add those shading lines, right? And I just kind of follow the petals. There's nothing um, real scientific about this. If there is, I'm not aware of it. <laughs> Maybe there's something very scientific, but I am not aware of that. But I just kind of go through and add some dark lines. And then I'll come in and color. And now I have to concentrate, so it's really hard for me to look at my note. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I already told you about that. I told you about the bobcat. I told you about that. Oh, one other thing that Haley said that was so funny, because we were hunting all last weekend, and we didn't have any bears. Like, that's very unusual for us, our group, and where we hunt, because there are a lot of bears. And Haley was saying... Um, on Friday, we didn't get a bear either. We got the bears on Saturday and Sunday, but she said, she said, if I cannot get my baby into a bear, I have failed as a parent, complete mom fail. And I thought that was so cute because yeah, that's kind of how we are, <laughs> but don't worry. She got, she carried Val all the way in and you know, that little Val, she is weighing in at about 15 pounds now. She was born at 6'2", and she's 15 pounds, and she is doing so many things. Like, it's so cool to watch. And, of course, I am still love, just love being a granny. I put my granny skills to work over the weekend. I just used daffodil, no, nope, dark mango melody on the center of my flower. I put all of my granny skills to work this weekend, getting her to sleep, feeding her, doing all kinds of things. She's eating carrots like a, like a all-star wrestler. She's so cute when she does it too. I wish Haley would 
Haley, you need to, if you're still watching, she's probably asleep now, but if you're still watching, you need to um, put up a video and share it, tag me in it, with Val eating her carrots because it is the cutest stinking thing ever. She like licks it like a dog, kind of. It's just adorable. Okay, so I'm just going to keep blending until you don't see these dark lines. And that's all there is to Stampin' Blends. And this is why I wanted to have stories to tell, because it's kind of boring just watching me do this, right? Let's get this end out. Maybe I'll be more effective. But yeah, so she's really cute. And of course, all the kids just love her. And the little boy that said the next season that's coming after fall is Bobcat season. <laughs> He is so cute. He's four years old. And Haley had said, she's like, yeah, his name is Nick. Nick is Val's future boyfriend, and I'm okay with that, meaning she approves because she really likes Nick. Little Nicky, he's a doll. Yesterday, they have some puppies, some um, bear hunting dog puppies, and they're kind of rambunctious, and they're a little strong for Nick. But he took the puppy on the leash, and he was going to drag the puppy around, but the puppy instead dragged him around and it not only dragged him around but it knocked him down and then it ran over it like ran over his head <laughs> and you know it's hard not to laugh when stuff like that happens Nick started crying because I'm sure that the toenails on the dog were a little sharp as it ran over his head isn't that just so pretty you guys but yeah it was um it was pretty funny Nick thought he was going to take the dog, the puppy, for a walk, but the puppy took him for a walk. Okay, now I'm grabbing the dark old olive, and again, I'm just kind of following the lines that Stampin' Up! has given us to do some little shading things. I'm starting to get nervous, like I'm um, boring you guys to death, so that's when mistakes usually happen, so bear with me. I know some of you are going to say, don't rush, Kelly, it's okay. But some of you are like, oh my Lord, when is she going to be done? I shouldn't care, right? Because you can always come back and watch if you need to leave. But I don't I don't want to be um, not thinking about your time, right? I, your time is valuable, and I just so am so um, grateful that you come and watch me every Sunday, I guess. That's a good way to put it. Okay, um, now I'm going to come in with the lighter old olive. And again, I just go around and outline these flowers. There's some little, those little beady flowers. I don't know, buddy flowers or buds or I don't know what you call them, but the little dudes. We're gonna leave those. We're not gonna color those with a Stampin' Blend. I've got a different plan for those. Yeah, so my husband did a lot of work while I was gone over the weekend. That was good. He was a little distant today when I got home. I think he's just kind of tired. He wasn't too excited to see me. But he did tell me that I smelled good after I took a shower. Because <laughs> so usually when I come home, he's like, How's oh, my stinky bear hunter? And I didn't smell that bad. <laughs> Not today. I have come home smelling pretty bad. But, yep, yeah, that was fine. We actually stayed in a hotel because um, of the baby. The, the cabin that we stay at when we go bear hunting has a loft. It's got two bedrooms that, you know, the people who own it stay in. But it's got a loft and a whole bunch of beds in a loft. And we always just stay up there and it's great and fine and it works out perfect. But with the baby and the loft, there's other people there. And we didn't want the baby waking up in the middle of the night. And, of course, it's just a cabin. So she would actually wake up everybody in the whole house, not just the people in the loft. So we got a hotel, so hopefully next year she'll be sleeping better. <laughs> so yeah, but that's the first time I think I stayed in a hotel when I went bear hunting. I felt kind of special, <laughs> not going to lie. So now I'm using Wink of Stella on these little white buddy flowers. And I know this is super hard to see in the um, screen. I'm going to hold it up here, so hang tight. But it is so, like, elegant that just that little bit of glimmer on those white flowers is so pretty. And now, since we're being putsy tonight and we just colored 
a bunch of little flowers, right? We're going to just cut them out. So we're gonna fussy cut. And I like to leave a white border around my fussy cutting. Number one, because if you make a mistake, you have room to correct it. Like I got that pointy edge there, I can trim that off so it doesn't look like a four-year-old cut it out. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they do, don't they? Sometimes cutting out is hard, but sometimes I really enjoy it. So I'm just leaving that white border around there. What else can I tell you? Um, Menasha schools got shut down last week. They're all virtual now. And that's the city that I live in now. My daughter Haley teaches for Appleton. And they have been all virtual since school started. Now, if your parents are essential workers, you can send your kids to school and there are teachers at school to, um, you know, take care of those kids. And Haley does go into the classroom, like, I don't know if it's twice a week or whatever, I don't remember, but she's been pretty much working from home and Val started daycare. Because it's tricky to have a baby at home and try to be online all day, right? So Val's been going to, one of my helpers is Brooke. Brooke is wonderful. I adore her. And she also does home daycare. So Val has been going to her house. And I guess Brooke has been telling everybody she just loves Val. She's such a happy baby and an easy baby to take care of. And she, um, and Val seems to just love it there. Like when she gets there, her eyes just light up because she loves the other little kids that are there. So it's really kind of cute to watch her, you know, growing and, you know, learning and exploring. And, and she knows that she likes little kids. So anytime she sees little kids, her, her whole face just brightens up. It's really sweet. Okay, look at that. Woohoo! There, now you know more about Val and Haley than you ever wanted to. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, well, not really. Um, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab, I've got my big dimensionals, and maybe, I, here they are. I've got my big dimensionals and my little dimensionals, and I want to put some good support on this flower. We'll do that. And that, and then here's my little minis. I love these things. If you guys don't have some of these, write it down on your sheet for your next order and get some because they're super handy. I love that. They're the perfect size. I don't have to be cutting dimensionals to make them fit all the time. That's, I like to be efficient, I guess. That's why things like that make me crazy. Okay, here we go. Boom. See, I can see that those backings are gone. That's what we love about the black dimensionals is that you know because the the backing is white on the black dimensionals, you know as soon as the backing is off that you're good to go. Okay, now, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to glue this circle down first. If I can find my glue, here's my glue. We're going to glue this circle. Whoops. Glue this circle right here. This is actually an old layout that I have used before, many years ago, and I don't know why, but I just thought of it with this flower, that my friend Don Olszewski used this layout on something, and I just fell in love with it. I'm going to turn this just a little bit. I fell in love with this layout because I just thought it was so charming. And you just bring your flower right up there. You've just got that little circle peeking out with your sentiment on it. And then we need some of our rhinestones, right? Oh, one other thing we're going to do before we put rhinestones on. Grab your Wink of Stella and color the little bud flowers that are on, stamped on your card front. They're going to look really dark at first, but once they dry, they're not going to be like sticking out like a sore thumb. You're just going to have that little bit of shimmer on it. These are the types of things, you guys, that take your cards from, oh, that's pretty, to, wow, look at that, right? It's all these little extras. And as people who like to do crafts, we are putsy, aren't we? People who like to do crafts just like putsy things. This is just one of those little putsy things that you can add to make your cards that much more spectacular. I love doing things like this. Okay, there's my Wink of Stella. And of course, we're going to bring in some of our rhinestones because, well, you get this whole pack free when you buy the kit. <laughs> it 
it's just a good deal. And then I'm going to do one more down there. We're going to do just three this time. I'm going to take this and add it to the front. This is a Whisper White Thick card base, by the way. I always use the thick for my card bases. I just think they feel more substantial. They stand up better. It's just a better match for a card base. Our Whisper White to stamp on, on the other hand, is the most amazing thing that has ever been created. <laughs> I might be a little prejudiced, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go, you guys. Oh, I wanted to hold that up for you so you could see that little bit of glimmer going on with these little buddy flowers. Here's, where did our, is this our, uh, where'd my envelope go? Right here. Here's my envelope for that one. And then, oh, I thought that punch was going right over the edge, you guys. Here is our cute little cards for the mini pizza right there. Don't forget to share my video, okay? I'm going to show you guys the beautiful mail that I have received. Haley got, or Val got some gifts from people, which is just so sweet, too. Got some beautiful, beautiful cards that I want to share with you. Remember to share my video. Don't forget, I always appreciate your orders. You'll find an online ordering button right here. You can also scroll down my Facebook page that you're on right now, and you're going to find all kinds of things. There's probably a link there to my online classes that will take you right to the right place on my blog. Um, don't forget, this is my last, probably my last go at this promotion that's going on. $125 in product, anything you want for $99, free shipping. If you ordered $125 in product, it would cost you $12.50 to ship it. That's free. You get a paper pumpkin certificate that you can redeem for a paper pumpkin kit next month. Um, you're going to get both of the stamp sets that I lost. Here they are. <laughs> So much love comes automatically and Queen's Lace and Rhinestones, not a part of the $125 you get to pick out. Plus, you're going to get two eight-packs of all the layers to make 16 total cards. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You get to be part of my team. I have a private Facebook page for my team. We do card challenges all the time. I do a question and answer Facebook Live every Tuesday morning. We have training for those that want to do training every Wednesday afternoon. It just goes on and on and on. You get all of my online classes for free once you have placed your first discount order when you join me. Tons of benefits to be on my team and there are no drawbacks. I will never push you to do any more than you want to do, number one. And number two, if you decide it's not for you, there's no penalty. You got $125 worth of product for $99 bucks plus a whole bunch more. I think this makes your kit worth over like $200 with all the things. So, And I, don't quote me on that because I just, I can't do the math. <laughs> I haven't done the math, but I'm really late on um, coming out with this promotion. I know I've mentioned it to you guys a couple times, but I was sick and I really had good intentions. And this was one of the things that had to just kind of go by the wayside, right? But you have until Wednesday, September 30th is the last day. Okay. Now I'm going to show you my beautiful mail. Give me a second just to clean up my mess here. I just like to kind of throw this all back. I can't forget to wash out that water brush. Throw this all back in the bins that I have on the floor here so I have a little bit of room. Oops, there went a stamp. <laughs> okay. All of these. Here we go. <sighs> We're going to set these over here, over here, over here. Okay, I think we are in business. Mail. Mail call. Holy cow. I gotta show you this first. This is a big package. Now, Haley was here and she got to see this because I always like when I get the mail, I'll have her open it if it's kind of for her and then I'll make her leave it here so that I can show people what it is. I'm kind of like that. Okay, here we go. This came from Vicki Ford. Oh, I probably shouldn't show you her address. Vicki Ford in Minnesota. And let me make sure I got the carpet. Look at how pretty this card is. Isn't that beautiful? And Vicki says, congratulations on your sweet 
grandbaby Val. She's adorable. And she apologizes that this is late. Are you kidding me? This comes from a lady that makes these blankets on her knitting machine. And I just have to show you. There's the care instructions here. Let me show you. How cool this is. Let me make sure I got it the right way. Hang on. It says Jesus loves you. Okay, hang on. Here we go. This says Jesus loves you. Valerie Lee. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Jesus loves you, Valerie Lee. What a keepsake, right? And this is a very pretty yellow color that's going to match perfectly. She was worried that it wasn't soft enough to match the nursery, but it is absolutely perfect. And look at how cool this is. Like, it is beautiful, and it's super, super soft, you guys. I wish you could feel it. Um, somebody just asked, how many cards with envelopes will the mini paper pumpkin box hold? Well, it'll hold a lot more. Hang on. It'll hold a lot more than four, okay? So if I push these, wait, that's only three, isn't it? Um, here's the other one. Hang on, let me put this fourth one in here. If I push these down, you can see how much more room you have. You could put at least four more envelopes and cards in here. So that's a really good question. Thanks for asking, Janie. Really good question. Yeah, Char says the blanket is stunning. It really is. It's absolutely beautiful. And how thoughtful. So thank you so much, Vicki. Haley thought this was the coolest thing ever, and she is going to get a lot of use out of it. Val is going to love it because it's really stinking soft. All right, so let me set this aside. All right, here we go. More mail. I think this just came maybe over the week. No, this was here. It came last week. Move this out of the way. Okay, so you guys, you're going to be so excited about this. So happy together. This was one of our celebration sets a couple years ago, last year. I, I don't remember, but does it have a date on it? No. Um, this is stinking adorable. And um, this was sent to me by Ingrid. Ingrid is one of my team members out of St. George. And she had a couple extra of these and said, do you want them to give away as prizes? Absolutely love them. And then she also had, look at all this ribbon, you guys, some extras of these. And she knew I could find them a good home, right? So I have all of these to give away as prizes. And thank you so much, Ingrid. That is so, so sweet. And then it was funny, too, because she said she forgot to put a note in with the, um, with the envelope that came. But she emailed me to tell me, I forgot to put a note in with the envelope, but I'm sending you all this stuff. And I'm like, great, thank you. Okay, let me set this aside, too, so I don't make a big mess here. All right, next. I love going through the mail. It's fun to get mail. Here we go. We got a whole bunch of cards coming here. Tracy Bazemore. Look at what she made with the paper pumpkin kit from mm, last month or the month before. Sending sunshine. Congratulations on your million. And she's made many of my kit classes. You are worth celebrating. And I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. Tracy, thank you so much. Isn't that pretty? This was a paper pumpkin kit. It is outstandingly beautiful. Then we have this gorgeous card. This is from, hang on a second. This is from Sue Loring. And she won a prize in my road to the million. And um, she just wanted to send me a card to thank me. Look how pretty that is. Thank you for being you. Love, oh, these are those, um, those glitter gems. Very, very, very pretty. Thank you so much. She also says, congratulations on your million. Woohoo! It was pretty exciting, right? And next, we have Nancy Ripley. This is a beautiful one. Using that Bohemian or Boheme, I can't remember what it's called, but we have a whole um, product bundle kit type thing with this. This is absolutely beautiful. The world needs more you, more of you. And um, she says she looks forward to my Sunday presentations and the creative ideas that I share. 
She says, Granddaughter Val is a beauty, and it's also fun hearing about her and all your family adventures. From one Wisconsinite to another, go Badgers, go Pack. Thank you again for your generosity. Nancy, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Your card is beautiful. And then we, oh, and envelopes are decorated here, you guys. I have to make sure I'm showing that. So um, here comes, this is from Leanne Roberts. Look at, she's got the pretty flower on here. And Leanne says, oh, she says, I knew how much you love summer, so this card I designed made me think of you. That is so sweet. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful flower. And she's sending me a quick card to congratulate me on my million. She's been watching me for quite a while now and wanted to let you know how much I appreciate your videos. You are so sweet. And she wants me to enjoy my trip to the SU headquarters. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Stampin' Up! just gave us an option. We can either participate. All of the million achievers can participate in a retreat experience when they hit their million um, but because I hit my million before they offered this option, I can also, I can do the retreat or I can do my individual million dollar trip. Guess what Kelly's doing? Individual. Yeah, I want my individual trip. <laughs> Here comes another one. This is from Peg Herrick, and it says Margaret Herrick, but I know her name is Peg. Yep, it is Peg. And look at how pretty that is with that beautiful sunflower. She cut it out a couple times and stacked it on top of each other. That is just beautiful. She says, I'm glad you have recovered from your belt with COVID. I so enjoy your videos and card ideas. Take care of yourself and family. And if flowers were hugs, I'd send you a thousand. Thank you so much, Peg. You're so sweet. Then we have Jeannie. Colmus, she is from my area in Menasha, Wisconsin. And Jeannie says, um, the world needs more people like you. Thanks for the dye brush. Oh, yeah, Jeannie needed a dye brush, and I happen to have one. So that was awesome. Look at how pretty her card is with that poppy paper. So amazing, right? Then, oh, decorated envelopes, you guys. Got to make sure I show you those. Then we have Nancy Berg, and look at Nancy stamped the little smiley face fruit on the front. Oh, look, here comes that cute fruit set. Congratulations. It says, so happy for you and also slightly jealous. I love that. Congrats for reaching your million dollars in sales of SU, and I watch and follow your awesome ideas in case many. Nancy Berg from Minnesota. Nancy, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Love your card. It's very bright and cheerful. Next, we have Jean Holly from Nina, and I haven't heard from Jean in ages. Jean, thank you so much. This beautiful birthday card, love those animals, right, with the Skeeters on the front. It says, happy camping, but don't forget the Skeeter spray. Super, super cute. Okay, let me see. How many more do I have? I think we're going to get through them, you guys. I'm feeling good about this. If, you, if anybody falls asleep, don't hit your head on your computer or whatever device you're on. Okay, this is a thank you card. This is coming from Terry Mullinex. Look at how pretty, pretty that is. That ornate um, uh, layer, the, the label layer behind that is just so, so pretty, right? And Terry was sending her form. She is in my online technique club, and she was sending me her form to get her free stuff. So that's fun. Um, Judy Brown sent me this cool card. I like how this butterfly, it's actually die cut out of the yellow layer. And I love how that looks. Isn't that fun? And she said, just saying hi, a hug is enclosed. Thank you so much, Judy. You are the sweetest. And she put some little butterflies on the back of her envelope. That was clever. Then we have Denise Nibbling. Denise is part of my team. And she says, thanks for being you. Look at how cute that little squirrel is with those flowers. Squirrel! <laughs> she says, thank you for the stamp set, Summer Days. I know I will enjoy it. Also, thanks for all the wonderful things that you do for us. I always look forward to Sunday nights online. You always have such great cards and new ideas for us. I enjoy the update on Val. She is so precious, so happy that you are feeling better. Thank you so much, Denise. Yeah, it was a long haul, right? And we have the beautiful leaves stamped over here. Cool. Then I got this card from my Stephanie. Stephanie is my oldest stepdaughter, and she is a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. She loves Paper Pumpkin because as the busy mom of 
How many boys does she have? Four. Two are hers. Two belong to the boyfriend. As a busy mom of four boys, the paper pumpkin is the perfect thing for her because it's usually very quick and easy and she can make some really cool cards. A little something to brighten your day. She said, sending some love and sunshine. Glad you are over the Rona. Happy fall, y'all. And she sent me a whole bunch of goodies. There was some Dove chocolates in the basket and I think a candle and I don't remember some other candy things lots of goodies so Stephanie is a sweetheart then I got this card look at this lady's wearing a mask it says I am smiling <laughs> during this corona crisis try to keep a smile on your face even if no one can see you and this is from Claudia Padone Claudia thank you so much this is so cute let's see what else do I have here I have a couple cards. Let me grab both of these because they are just absolutely adorable. So first of all, I get this card. Look at how pretty that is. This is using that Forever Greenery, Forever Something stamp set, but the Forever Greenery Suite. Gorgeous. It says, Dear Kelly, thank you for being you. You are an amazing lady. One amazing lady from Vicki Parker. And Vicki, look how pretty that is on the inside. Vicki's from Australia. Isn't that neat? And she did stamp up her envelope, so that was cool. And then Vicki sent another card, and here's our decorated envelope. It says, to the Fink family, welcome little one. And she says, to Haley and Jared, Valerie Lee, a little gift from Australia to thank you for letting me into your lives and watch your precious baby grow. Take care and all the best in the future. This is so cute. Look what she said. All the way from Australia is this adorable koala. Now I know you're not supposed to call them bears because they're marsupials. Somebody yelled at me about that once. <laughs> but isn't it cute? All the way from Australia. So she sent this for Val and Haley saw this when she was over last week. She's like, oh my gosh, that's so adorable. It really is super cute. Thank you so much, Vicki. That's the sweetest. And I will give these cards. I give the card and the gifts that you send for Haley and the baby to her. I don't keep them. Don't worry. <laughs> Sometimes I want to. It's pumpkin spice time. I should make a card that says it is. You know what I would really like is pumpkin spice. What is that stuff that I put milk in that I really like? Chai. Pumpkin spice chai. I could totally do pumpkin spice chai. But I should make a card that says it is candy corn time. <laughs> I don't think I have any left in here either. That's dangerous. I don't put that bowl on my desk. It stays out in the kitchen so that when I walk by, I grab a few. This is from Sharon Taylor. It says, Kelly, I hope you are feeling better after COVID. Drink water, keep up your strength, and stamp away. God bless. Thank you so much. This card, I love this card. It is super cute. I love the plaid on her dress. It is candy corn time or pumpkin spice chai. I would love that. My mom made me chai for Christmas one year um, and gave me a whole jar of it. And I thought that was the sweetest thing, right? Because it's not easy. It's kind of expensive to make that, too. This comes to me. Look at this envelope. Holy cow. This is from Suzanne Cullen. Look at how pretty it is. Um, this says, Dear Kelly, First, thank you for my bundle suite of the Gilded Autumn online class, which arrived Monday from Stampin' Up. At first, I wondered why I got a Stampin' Up box, and then, duh, it was for your From You via SU, and it was. Shortly after opening it, I started watching your Monday Live on YouTube at the same time I was making this card for you, and then I heard you say my name. And now, thank you for the hostess stamp set as well. Take care of yourself, Kelly. I love your videos and, of course, your awesome designs and projects. Hugs from Southwest Florida, Suzanne. Thank you, Suzanne, and you are very welcome. Okay, you guys, we're almost at the end. Not kidding. Oh, look how pretty this is. This is from Bev Farley. Absolutely gorgeous. It says, congratulations on your million I love watching you and hearing about Little Miss Val and, of course, your neighbor, John. Teehee. <laughs> Glad you are feeling much better. Love, Bev Farley. You are very welcome, Bev. I'll have to ask Steve if he, if he ever asked John anything else um, about the back window that's missing from his work truck. 
<laughs> his van. Okay, next. This is the last one, guys. Oh, and this is a this is another goodie. Um, this is from Pamela Wampler. And first of all, let's look at this card. Um, this is a beautiful poppy card, isn't it? It says, thanks for getting back to me about your address and how you're doing. Yes, you have a legion of viewers that are grateful for your personality and talent and creativity. I know it must be a burden at times. It's very seldom a burden. I love you guys. But thank you for recognizing that it could be. She says, here are the dies I spoke of. I love them. I'd return them, but it would be a hassle. So I'm thrilled to give you, give you something. Take care. Hope this COVID is gone soon. And it is, Pam, gone. Thank goodness. Look at this beautiful card. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. It says, if healing thoughts could heal, you'd be better already. And um, Pam says, I'm a brand new customer of yours. However, I watched your videos for a few months. I love your folkiness. I love that. About... About died laughing at your story about your mom and her gun and the squirrel. <laughs> All that to say that when I saw your video this Wednesday and you were feeling better, I could see that you were still not well. I could see your fingers shake and you are dedicated and professional and it shows. And right, I still really wasn't feeling well. She says, please take time to get well. Your health is important. Thanks for your help in placing the help in placing an order. I was lost with the change. Isn't that sweet? And then, you guys, look at this. Pam sent the Tasteful Label dies. Like, this is a brand new set of dies. And I, I told her, I said, you could send these back to Stampin' Up! and exchange them. If you guys ever double order anything, there's an exchange form. And you can send stuff back and get something that you, you know, don't have. But look at these. We're going to be giving these away. Thanks to Pam. That was so cool of her, right? Okay. Yeah, we'll look at the card one more time. I love those colors together. They're really pretty. Oh, let me put this back on here, too, so it'll get lost in the whole thing. And here we go. I don't want to mess all the things up. Of course, you can't ever get these back in an envelope, right? And then the back sticks, and that's ah, a whole thing. Okay, so, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to do my photos tonight and get this all... Um, what we made tonight loaded up but I will get it done in the morning because I am hungry right now and I think once I go eat I'm gonna get oh did I show you guys this card oh yeah this is the baby card that goes with the koala back to Haley and Jared um yeah because I am kind of tired oh I gotta remember who this came from too so just hang tight oh I'm gonna do this how about this I'm gonna put some tape on it there I'm terrible I have a terrible memory you guys know this about me you get these moved off to the side. And um, so this week coming up, let's see, where's our calendar? Uh, Thursday is October 1st. How did that even happen already? But Thursday is October 1st, and I will have a um, blog hop with the Stamping Society. And what is our theme? Oh, we are using, let me grab it. Hang on. We're using the celebration label dies, you guys. So there'll be some really cool ideas coming out with that. And that is the blog hop that I do when you place an order with me. And I, I wasn't able to participate in August in that blog hop. So um, I didn't have this in August, if anybody's wondering. But when you place an order with me, you get a special private PDF file with video links, video tutorials, and the whole thing with the Stamping Society, and I do that every month. I also offer it for sale for $7, but I give it to people who place orders with me for free. I wasn't able to participate in that on September 1st, I should say, is when the last one happened because I was still sick. So I don't have the file for September 1st, but I will be participating in the October 1st one, so I'll have that again, and I'm excited that I'm good enough well enough that I can do that again, but I'll tell you, I just, I really kind of function. Anyways, enough, enough about the COVID. I'm sick to death of it. I'm sure you guys are too. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, um, Carol's asking, is Haley still able to help you? No, she's not. She is completely overloaded. I don't think people, unless you're a teacher, realize how many hours teachers put in. Um, everybody gripes about them. They work from, you know, 
nine to three and they get all their whole summer off and every holiday and all the things. Oh my Lord, you guys, she works all day long with the kids and then all night long getting lesson plans ready. And now with the virtual, it's even more work because you have to make videos ahead of time and you have to get all the things ready to keep the kids busy virtual. So, oh yeah, Marcia said, don't forget, in October, we have a designer paper sale coming out, October 1st through the 31st. Um, I thought I printed that out. Did I print it out? I think I might, maybe, did I? Nope, that was our 24-hour stamp sale that happened last week. Um, hang on, I might have a flyer. Ah, I got all the things I don't think I do. But if you watch my blog, you'll find the sale flyer. I think I have it all ready to be published. So don't forget about that. DSP is on sale starting October 1st. Thank you, Marsha. That is going to be a great sale, too. All right, you guys. I think I'm going to let you go so I can go eat. Carol says her daughter is a para for special ed, so I know how. Yeah. Carol, it is crazy how many hours these teachers put in anyways without a you know, nationwide lockdown or whatever. It is absolutely insane how many hours Haley works. So, no, she is not helping me. I do, however, have a new assistant. Um, my friend Rachel used to be a demonstrator under me, and she has been coming over, packaging things up for me. She makes some of my swap cards. I have her do some organizational stuff in my office, things like that. So, um, I do still have somebody here helping me, and that's been I've been very grateful for that. So, thanks for asking. Yeah, and let's not forget the in-services during the summer. Yeah, they still have to do stuff during the summer, too. So, you know, I have always, even before Haley decided to be a teacher, become a teacher, and whatever, I've never really had any close friends that were teachers. But always, I have had the utmost respect for teachers because they are the people raising your kids all day long. All day they raise your kids. They try to make them better people. They try to make them smart or not smart. I shouldn't say that, but they're educating them so that they have a good um, step up in life. And I, I have some family members that are constantly like, oh, the teacher said this, but that's not true. And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, are you flipping kidding me? Get your head out of your butt. Those teachers mean the best for your child. There's no grudge against your kid. I hate the attitude. Teachers don't get enough credit for what they do. And as a previous daycare provider, I can tell you that going to work every day is easier than you ever thought staying home was going to be. Staying home is a hard job and being a teacher is a hard job. So there's my, I'll get off my soapbox now. <laughs> now that Haley's a teacher, I get to see more of the inside of that, right? Um, and she does love her job. She loves her students. And I think... What I, I really respect about her and her profession and what she's doing personally is that the children that are really hard to reach, I would not make a good teacher for children, I don't think. Even though I do, I have a lot of patience and everything, but if they don't want to learn, meh, I'll go work with somebody who wants to learn. That is kind of the way I would probably approach that. Haley is like, nope. The ones that are resisting me the most are the ones I work the hardest with to bring them back in and make a difference. And this right here, you guys, is why she's a teacher. This is why. Because she has that great attitude and she really cares about all the kids, even the super naughty ones. She still wants to reach them. And me, I would be like, get out of my hair. <laughs> right? So... Yeah, and April says she couldn't be a teacher today with the way kids act. Oh, I know. She gets flipped off on Zoom. Well, they use Google Meets or something. Um, but, you know, it happens. It just happens. And, and kids are going to be, there's going to be some kids that aren't that pleasant. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm going to let you guys go. You know, thank a teacher because they really are. They've been thrown into an arena here that they we never saw coming, right? And they are working super hard at home. Um, and, and, and the other thing is, too, that all these people think that these teachers want to be virtual, that they don't want to really come to work. That's crap. I'm sure there's some, but that is not the truth. Haley wants to be in the classroom with her students, and so do 
almost all of her coworkers. They are like, gosh, we got to get back in. These kids need us. And those are the people that should be teachers, <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, you guys. I am going to let you go. Um, thank a teacher. That's your that's your mission this week is to thank a teacher. Whether you know a teacher on Facebook or you have a friend that's a teacher, send them a card, send them a little gif on, on Facebook and say, I appreciate you because they're not getting enough appreciation right now. I'm going to let you go and get myself something to eat besides candy corn. Bye-bye, you guys. Thank you so much.